Hello, my name is John Klein. I'm principal of Appraising Plus. What I'd like to do today is share with you an appraisal that I did for a client in Raleigh. And I'm gonna name this the story behind the item. Every once in a while, we inherit something neat from a parent or grandparent, and the story is fabulous. George Washington sat here or Rockwell painted that painting. And they are just wonderful stories, but completely untrue. Well, this item, the client said, came from her grandfather, and her grandfather was a senior professional at, at a company in the United States, and he was hired by the Russian Empire to build bridges during the 19th century, the late 19th century. And what he brought back was some items that I thought are pretty cool. And the one I'm gonna to show today is this silver kettle. It really does look well made. And Mr. Harrison, my client's grandfather, supposedly brought this back along with some other items from his extended trip in Russia. This has a pear shape finial. It has two busts, one of a well-to-do businessman, looks Russian, and there is a well-to-do lady. She has looks like a necklace on and a fur. So this is definitely a piece that was created by a silversmith for a somebody from the high society of the Russian Empire, most likely in the 19th century, but who knows? Now, how you identify whether this story is at all plausible is by examining the kettle. Any good piece of silver has hallmarks on them, and they would be located in this particular piece on the bottom. I will put some pictures in this video that will show a little bit more detail of the hallmarks. But right then and there, you'll be able to identify who made the piece, what year it was made, where it was made, and even how good this silver is. Well, it turns out the hallmarks relate to a piece that was made in 1848. That was when Tsar Nicholas I was the emperor. Though he was not a good emperor, they still did things during that time. It also shows that it was made in Moscow, and it shows who made the piece. My client's grandfather worked in the 1870s, but still, he could have gotten this in an antique store in Moscow to give to his wife when he returned. We will never know that. What I'm thinking is, what if this individual, Mr. Harrison, who I've seen pictures of, he looked pretty prominent, did such a bang up job for them that on his last day, they had a goodbye party as sometimes we do for people. And he was given trinkets. And this was one of the trinkets that Tsar Nicholas II gave to him. Now we'll never know that, is it possible? You could probably embellish the story uh, a bit, maybe. Anyway, this piece will go to auction, and I believe the value range will be somewhere in the neighborhood of four, five thousand dollars, and it could go for a, a lot more. This is a wonderful historic piece, and it was for me the highlights of, of, of recently of, of items that I had the opportunity to evaluate. 
I hope you got a little bit out of how you identify silver. Um, and if I can be of help, please don't hesitate to contact me at upraisingplus.com. I am John Klein.